Weather coverage you can count on with meteorologist Carson Marinin and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Well, most spots across the region did stay dry today, but we have been tracking several showers making their way through North Alabama this evening, and that's still the case tonight as well. There's another look at the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network, but one thing I will say is because we've lost that daytime heating now that the sun's gone down, we're not seeing quite as widespread coverage or as heavy rainfall either. Really just some light sprinkles. That's all we're tracking for you on this Saturday night. Looking at our Muscle Shoals radar site in northwest Alabama, all quiet across Lauderdale, Colbert, and Franklin counties. From our Decatur radar site, tracking some very light drizzle in eastern Limestone County, right there as you get along County Line Road and US 72 and far western Madison County as well. But really, that's all we're seeing right now here in the metro region. Gunnersville radar site in northeast Alabama, looking pretty good over Sand Mountain right now. One thing I did mention at the top of the newscast, we're tracking that shower activity just off to our south and west across parts of Coleman and Blunt County. Should that hold together, we could see some additional showers in Marshall County, I'd say in the next hour. But in, by and large, the trend is becoming drier and drier as we go through the overnight hours tonight. But one thing that will stick around tonight, the muggy air and the warm temperatures. There's a look at the Way 31 Skycam Network tonight. Yeah, we're still in the mid 70s pretty much everywhere right now. 74 in Huntsville, 72 in Decatur, 76 degrees in Gunnersville, and it is 75 balmy degrees in the Shoals right now. We were able to get the Trash Pandas game in tonight at Toyota Field, thank goodness, after a delayed start. Tomorrow might not be so lucky. Here's your Trash Pandas game cast. An early start tomorrow. Note the time, 235 first pitch on Way 31.6 this TV. Yeah, we're going to have those off and on showers, thunderstorms in the forecast. A 50-50 shot closer to first pitch time at 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And we'll still keep those thunderstorm chances in the forecast through the rest of the afternoon and into the evening hours, too. It will be warm. Temperatures actually a little cooler compared to today. But those temperatures in the lower 80s, that humidity sticking around, it will definitely feel very warm if you're heading out to the ballpark tomorrow. Fingers crossed they get that game in on Sunday afternoon. Here's future radar with those temperatures tonight. One or two light showers is possible overnight tonight but most spots should remain dry. Then you see that shower activity slowly increasing once the sun comes up tomorrow morning and watch what happens closer to lunchtime tomorrow. There's 12 noon widespread showers and storms, especially west of I-65, according to this data source, becoming more widespread across the rest of North Alabama throughout the day. I'm not too concerned about severe weather tomorrow, but some heavy downpours and maybe a few brief gusty winds at let's say 30 to 40 miles per hour can't be completely ruled out with any stronger storms tomorrow. Those showers and storms can continue into Sunday evening, starting to dry things out Sunday night, and we are going to do the exact same thing all over again as we head towards not just Monday, but also the rest of the upcoming work week too. So we're going to see a good bit of rain in the next seven days. There's that rainfall forecast. Not a whole lot of change from our earlier newscast at five and six o'clock tonight. Those bluer colors from Athens and Decatur points east. That's where we can see about an inch to an inch and a half of rain closer to the Mississippi state line in northwest Alabama. Those purple colors. Well, that's where we might see closer to two inches of rain fall over the next seven days. Bottom line, it's a classic summertime pattern. If there's any good news, those temperatures do stay in check in the low to mid 80s. But even so, it's going to stay warm. It's going to stay humid. And those thunderstorm chances, they are sticking around for quite some time. Megan?